my name is Deirdre Gallivan from Hanna Instruments, and today I'm going to show you how to use our HI98107 pH pocket tester. So I've opened the box, and this is what I see inside. I have my calibration certificate, I have my instruction manual, I have the instrument itself, and I also have a screwdriver for calibrating. So I'm going to give you a quick overview of the instrument. Here at the top we have our on-off switch. Down here we have our two-point calibration. Then I'm going to remove the cap, and inside you're going to see the pH probe and also an extractable junction. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to condition my electrode. So I'm going to put the electrode in storage solution for two hours. If you don't have storage solution, you can also use pH 4 or pH 7 buffer. So once I've conditioned my electrode for two hours, I'm ready to calibrate the instrument. I could do a single point calibration or a double point calibration. If I'm doing a single point calibration, I'm going to calibrate it in a pH 7 buffer, and if I'm doing a double point, I'm going to do it in the pH 7 buffer, and then either the pH 4 or the pH 10, depending on whether I'm measuring an acid or a base. So I'm going to turn the instrument on, I'm going to put it in the pH 7 buffer, and then I'm going to take my calibration screwdriver, and I'm going to turn it until it reaches a pH of 7. Then I'm going to rinse in purified water. And because I'm measuring an acidic solution, I'm going to do it in a pH 4 buffer. And then I'm going to take the instrument and I'm going to calibrate it until it reaches pH 4. Now I'm ready to do my measurement. So I'm going to rinse it off one more time. And then I'm going to perform my test. So when you're not using your probe, you want to make sure that you're taking care of it properly. We offer a storage solution, and you're going to want to wet the little sponge that's in the cap to maintain the probe condition. If you don't have storage solution, you can also use one of your buffers. I'm going to put the cap back on and make sure the meter's turned off. If you're noticing any erratic readings, your probe could be dirty, and we do offer cleaning solutions for your probes. The cleaning solutions are application specific, so make sure you reach out to your local HANA office, and they'll be happy to help you. Thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoy the instrument.